Welcome to Math Magic, a place where anyone at home can uncover the magic in math. Today's focus is circles. Circles have fascinated humans throughout history. They've represented balance, perfection, and divinity. Here's an aerial view of Sun City, a retirement community in Arizona. Here's the Tevatron, a now shuttered particle accelerator in our very own backyard at Fermilab. And crop circles continue to confound us to this day. And how can I forget the most mysterious ancient circle of all Stonehenge in England? The seemingly simple circle has many parts. There's the radius, which is half the diameter, the chord, which doesn't necessarily go through the center, and the tangent line, which lies outside the circle. Now, use this worksheet in the description below to help you practice getting comfortable with the vocabulary. Now, for today's activity, we'll focus only on the circumference and diameter. You'll need a, flex, a flexible measuring tape, a worksheet to jot down notes, a calculator, and a pen. If you don't have a flexible measuring tape, you can improvise with yarn and a regular ruler. Find any three circles of varying sizes in your home. This is what I'm going to use. Um, my first circle is a large cookie tin. And I'm gonna take my uh, foldable measuring tape and go around the circle, getting my circumference. And I know the camera is backward, but perhaps you can see that the circumference is 84 centimeters. And I will write that down on my um, notes. Uh, next, I'm going to measure the diameter. So that would be edge to edge uh, through the center. That's 27 centimeters. I'll write that down. And that's it for my uh, tin. Next, my, uh, my next circle is a can of tomatoes. And same thing, get my foldable measuring tape, measure around to get the circumference. And it is about 24 centimeters. I'm going to write that down. Next, the diameter through the center. And that is 8 centimeters. See them? So far, my notes look like this. The real math magic is the last column, which I've expressed as C over D, or circumference divided by diameter. You can find this ratio or relationship by using good old fashioned division. Remember, the denominator is the divisor. Use the link below if you need, if you need a reminder on long division, uh, adding a decimal or zeros when needed or just use a calculator. So, what do you get? With accurate measurements, your quotient or answer should be the same as my answer. It doesn't matter if the circle is as large as the Tevatron or as small as the can I used. This ratio is constant. 
The ancients knew this, and now you do too. Aren't circles magical? Thank you.